Okay everyone, so now we are creating the Windows application and here we are going to create the series which is 1357 and using the for loop. So first of all we are dragging and dropping one label. I am changing the name of label let's say with the series and I want to say that which series I want to print let's say 1, 3, 5, 7 and this series will be going till the 15 so I have written there so that user should be having the better understanding now this is the series which I want to print now let's say we are having a text box here so in this text box I want to display so we are going on the toolbox and from there we will take the text box in this text box we are going to print the series and we want that whenever we click on the button then this series should be displayed so here we are just changing the name that is click now if I want to change the font of this series then I can even go here and I can change from the properties section so from the properties we will be going on the font now here we can just click now afterward we can just provide the font whatever we want you can see that there is a dialog box here now from that we can provide let's say bold or 12 or 14 whatever you want press ok so you can see that this series is now like this now I want that in this particular text box this series should be displayed when I click on the button so I am taking here now now I am changing the name of form I am clicking there and afterward we are going on the text property so here on the text let's say I am giving my name so this is the name I have given you can see that if I run this project then afterward there will be the output window now it will take certain time to open then afterward we will be having the output window so this is the output window you can see that if I click over there the series should be present so means on click of the button we want to show some message so I am going back on the coding part here in this form designing I am double click on the button as you can see that this is the button coding now I want that there should be a series 1 to 15 now understand this starting value is 1 ending value is 15 that means our series will start from 1 and going till 15 so first of all we should be having the looping statement looping means whenever we are performing the task again and again then we use the loop just like for loop while loop do while so first of all we are taking a variable dim a as integer now this means a is an integer variable now here we are applying the for loop 4 is going to repeat itself multiple time so for a we have taken the variable a is equal to what is the first number we know that the first number is 1 so I am taking for a is equal to 1 until where 2 from a is equal to 1 2 you can see that 15 so till 15 it will go press enter now you can see that this is a simple loop for a is equal to 1 to 15 so a will start from 1 and go till 15 and what I want I want that in text box 1 dot text so here you should know this is text box 1 this one in that text we are writing equal to a so that means inside the text box 1 the text should be a now we are checking what should be the result if I run this project then afterward you can see that I am clicking on the button so afterward this coding run only 15 is coming you can see that after clicking on button a variable is declared of integer type the value of a was 1 till 15 the loop continues you can see that here text box 1 the value a is coming so text box value was earlier 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 15 so the last value is captured because it is going to update itself we are not taking the previous value we are updating so if you want to take the previous value because when you are saying 1 and 1 with the 2 
so one replace two come two replace three come three replace four come so this way 14 replace and 15 come so now what we want we want that previous value should be taken so i am going back to the coding now here i am taking the previous value which previous value means the text box previous value so text box one dot text so i am taking the text box previous value concat with one space so this is one space i am giving and again concat with variable a now see what will be the change in this particular program so if i am going to run this now afterward if i click on this button you can see that one two three four five it is going now first of all we should understand that the series is not complete so we are going back on the display section and here we are going to take this text box and going to extend it so that we will be getting the complete result here now again i am running this now i am going on the coding part as well so that we can understand clicking so 1 to 15 is printed so when we click on the button this coding was executed now first of all the variable a was declared then a start from 1 now see when the value of a was 1 in the text box 1 the text we have written was text box 1 previous value let's say there is nothing inside that right now i am going to click it what is going to happen nothing so in the text box nothing is there so this means nothing nothing we are concatenating with the a and what is the value of a which is one so loop run afterward again it goes back now the value taken was one concat with two so this way it work so nothing concat with one then one concat with two with three four five and keep on going till 15 so text box one previous value concatenating with the new value which is a and a run from 1 to 15 that's why these values are going so earlier there was nothing which was concat with one it becomes nothing and one then again concat with two nothing one and two so this way the series is printed but we want that series should work from 1 to 15 but with the gap of two you can see that one and three what is the gap the gap is Two. so 3 minus 1 is 2 5 minus 3 is 2 so that means there should be the gap of 2 now in the 4 we should update it whenever we are going to give the gap now we should write step so step step can be positive or negative you can provide step 1 understand one thing step 1 is by default if you are applying it or not it will give you the same result just like the earlier one i have not applied step one so result was same you can just check out if you are running this program you click over there the same result is coming so that means you apply step one or not meaning is same but we will apply step whenever it is required let's say here we require step two so now understand if i run this afterward we will get the output this will be different now one three five so first of all let's say there was nothing inside that afterward when i click over here so text box one dot text was nothing concat with a what is a one so here one was coming let's say i am writing here nothing was there then one then afterward it will be going back the value will become step 2 so it will be the next value is 3 so the earlier value was 1 concat with 3 so 3 comes this is i am writing manually to make you understand then afterward again it will be going back like 5 so this way it will work now i am deleting all and i am done with the help of coding so if i click here it will be like this so this is how we can print the series using the for loop